Hello viewers, this is Gamer Zack, and welcome back for more on Lizard Zelda Windmaker. Last time we finished most of this Earth Temple, and this time we're gonna finish it. For good. Now, you may recall this room if you saw the last episode. It is so long and tedious. I am not kidding. It was, it was torturing, it was torturous for me. Not for you, because you were listening to Saria's song the whole time. So anyway, let's get through this door. Wow. Um, so in this room, metal bars. Oh no, I should put medley here. You want to get your Deku leaf and your boomerang. There are going to be two blue bubbles here and a dark nut. So yeah, this is, might be a little challenging. Yes. No, run away from the dark. Run away from the dark nut. Run away from the dark nut. Reaction command time! Oh, come on! That is no fair! I jump in the air, I, I, I roll around him, jump in the air, hit him, then he... And he gets me. I, are you serious? What kind of luck is that? That is some messed up... That is some messed up stuff. No! No, no, no! No! Bad Dark Knight. Oh, I, I, I wasn't even facing the wrong direction! He was directly behind me, I blew the leaf... Wow, that was really messed up. Um, I blew the leaf. I, I need to stop saying that. I I used the Deku leaf, and it, it still got him. I, I, how, how did that work? Boomerang. Oh, see, this thing's nothing when you put it up against me. And by doing that, we have gotten that treasure chest, or access to it, rather. Either way, we'll get the contents of it. So let's open it. What could it be? And we have the big key. Yes, I said big key this time. That's right, I didn't say boss key. Because I remember I messed up on that a couple times. I'm not sure which dungeons they were, but I know I messed up on it at least once. Anyway, that pretty much does it for the dungeon. All we really have left is the boss's room and just backtracking to it. So, I guess that when we get there, I'll see you then. That was a poorly constructed sentence. Alright, so we're back up here. What we want to do is we want to grab Medley and fly over to the boss's door. We can, we can legitimately fly over there. We don't need a Deku Leaf or anything. Just watch. See, I told you, if you smash these pots, you'll get some rupees, and I think a fairy? Oh no, just more magic. Ton of rupees in this pot, and then just two, I think, in this one? Oh, three. My mistake. Wow, it was one rupee off. Sue me. And we can't bring Manly in with us because it's a boss's chamber, and she can't fight. Anyway, in this, bo in this room, you're going to see some pretty creepy stuff. Teletubbies! What kind of messed up kid show is this? What the? Um, okay, here it is. The boss of the Earth Temple. This is Jahala, or Jahala, whatever you want to say. What you have to do, you have to shine light at him. Pick him up with your power bracelets because you're cute and strong. Throw him at a spike pillar. He'll separate into a bunch of pose. And this is the way I recommend killing him. Hurricane spin! That was not too effective at all. What well, now was it? So yeah, it's basically a bunch of pose put into one. It's not that very hard of a boss. I'm s I'm yet to get hit. That's good. Okay, run, 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 run. as soon as I say that, he's gonna suck me in. Oh god, no! Did that really do a a heart and a half of damage? Man, like I said, I knew I wasn't gonna do this without getting hit because oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Yeah, the light shifts, shifts at times. Yeah, because he just wants to be a jerk. 
So anyway, let's get him and throw him at the pillar. It's basically this. It takes about three cycles to do if you do it right, like the way I'm doing it. Anyway, they only allow you to kill like a certain amount of pose for every round, which is why you can only do it at the minimum of three phases, I guess. How good? There are less pose. It Ja Jahala should be smaller. That's just my sense of logic, but oh well. So yeah, the boss of this area is definitely a joke, like I said in a, in a previous episode. Or last episode, rather. Go! And that's it! That's all there is to Jahala. The easiest boss ever. His head will make a fine trophy. No! My trophy's running away! Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it! And as soon as that happens, the light opens up there. It falls. I get odd oh, broke. At least we get a shiny heart. Missing no atriums or ventricles. I like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this dungeon. Let's just get our little heart container. Increasing our maximum health to 13 hearts. What a wonderful number. What took you so long? The prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former energy. There is but one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. Link, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. No kidding. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Link. Step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. And Link. Um, about Prince Komali. Please watch over him for me. Aww. I love how we don't warp away until she's finished talking. I, I, like, I never understood that. So yes, that's pretty much it for the Earth Temple. We have finished it. We have restored half of the Master Sword's former glory. Or power, if you will. So now what we need to do... Is we need to go to the temple... Here. It's pretty much the other put. Uh, it's pretty much the the Earth Temple, except opposite. There's an item you need to get to access it, then you learn the song, then you gotta go teach the sage of that song, then you go to the temple. Yeah. So, we should get started on that. Um, the, First we went to Fire Mountain, 
to get the power braces so that we can get to Henstone Isle. We need a different item to get into Gale Isle. That item is found right here. So I'm going to warp to the Forest Haven, then sail west of it. So I will see you in a moment. Alright, we are here at Ice Ring Isle. The place where we have to use the fire arrows to get into. So you want to hit this little dragon head, the ice will stop spewing out of his mouth. And then we can get on the island. So yeah, it's that simple. It's basically Fire Mountain except opposite. You get it, you get an item that lets you get to the temple, so yeah. Cool, I slid while I was in pers first person view. Anyway, you want to open this treasure chest because if you want to get 100%, then you have no other choice. <laughs> anyway, we have a treasure chart right here. Yep. Th I believe there are 41 treasure charts throughout the whole game. Just to let you know, I don't know if I've said that before. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. It's raining in a frigid Arctic island. Uh, wouldn't it be turned into like hail or something? Uh, that's just something I never did get. Like, how is it raining in such an arctic island? Uh, 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 could somebody, like, please explain that? Miyamoto! Well, actually, no. Miyamoto didn't do much of the directing for this game. It was rather A.G. Anuma. I think. I'm pretty sure it was A.G. Anuma. Wait. No. No, bad link. No, don't fall off. So yeah, this place is just... You have to be really careful not to fall off. And I guess while I'm doing that, I just want to mention something. Um, A lot of my friends have been telling me about a game called Kingdom Hearts. I really haven't heard of it that much. People say it's a really good game and that I'd be really good at it because I play Brawl so much and I just lo have a deep passion for RPG-style games. People say I'd be, I'd be really good at it. So, I've, I've been wondering, how, how good of a game is Kingdom Hearts? I, I, wanna, I want you to leave it in the comments. Like, would you recommend Kingdom Hearts to anyone? So, anyway, we are now inside the dragon's mouth. Let's travel down his windpipe, then down his esophagus. And we've landed in his frigid stomach. We want to slide down here very carefully. Oh, cr oh, hell no. These keys. Um, yeah. So there are fairies here if you want it, and... Okay, hold up a sec. How... Wait, 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 wait. How are there flowers growing out of ice? The, 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 how... Like, how are there flowers growing out of ice? Wait, I don't want to fall off, but I'm consuming a lot of time. I don't want, I want regular arrows. What, hit him? I hit him and like that? I didn't think I was gonna hit him, wow. Anyway, this area reminds me a lot of World 4 in Super Mario 64 because of the sliding guard, no! No, no, no! So yeah, reminds. So yeah, this place reminds me of the of the house in Super Mario 64 where you can slip and slide down a thing like you got to race with this penguin. Yeah, I'm screwed. I only have a minute, a minute 44 seconds. This is bad. Come on. H how do you get up here? No, no, no! <laughs> I gotta do it all over again. God, there's, there's no way I'm gonna do it within the next 43 seconds. There, there is, there is absolutely no possible way. Come 
I don't understand how I grabbed that. It was, it was from the most absurd angle. H how did that work? Oh, you can't get out of here! No, 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 no! Oh, well, I'm screwed. Oh. That's hilarious. Oh! Well, audience, I hope you're happy. You got to see me fail at something that it's it's not too that's at something that's not too hard to accomplish. So I guess I'm gonna have to see you once some once I get the actual item. I'll see you once I'm at that long slip inside that's causing me to trip so many times, even though I've done it without without with ease before. Probably because of that. Oh, there are cannon boats here. Since when were there cannon boats? Ah, great. Here we go! We finally did it correct this time. Now we can get this treasure chest. I don't know how I went through so much grief just to get this one little thing. I, I, I just don't get it. Anyway, we got the iron boots. And... Conveniently for us, they fit Link perfectly. No, no flaws whatsoever, just watch the magic. Oh, fits perfectly. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's how awesome it is. Let's you go through this wind tunnel, because normally you'd be blown off by it. You can go down this little hole to fight a gauntlet of enemies and to get an orange ruby, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. I mean, I've been recording for 25 minutes now. So, I think we're just going to end it here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we are going to go to Gale Island and, f and find the Sage of the Wind Temple and find out who his descendant is so that we may awaken him to the fact that he is a sage. And yes, it is a he. So, yeah, the Earth Temple's a she, Wind Temple's a he. Yada, 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 yada. And then hopefully begin the Wind Temple. Alright? So, without further ado, I say to you, stay tuned. <laughs>